Okay, let's do a quick overview of the initial impressions of the Unihertz Atom XL phone. Here it is. It's a rugged build phone. You can see it's got bumpers on all the corners and everything. This side you have on off and volume, bumpers, USB C charging, uh, push to talk on that side, and a SIM slot. And in the back it's got a camera, a nice uh, textured back so you don't lose your grip on it. And then on top there's the antenna port and there's a little cover for that so when you take the antenna off you can cover that up. Um, so the phone itself is running Android obviously. It's uh, Android 10 but it hasn't been uh, updated for the security update since uh, January 5th and there's some talk about when they're going to bring that latest security update but it's unclear. So. Um, but probably, you know, it's it's a standard good Android phone. It's got a nice touchscreen sensitivity, so it's a really, I think, pretty high quality. It's a small screen, so it's a smaller phone. I mean, if you look at it next to my Pixel 4, let me dig that out, it's quite a bit smaller, the screen. Um, so that is is what it is. There's no app launcher from the bottom, so you just have to add your apps to various screens and swipe through. What you're probably most interested in is the DMR capabilities that's in this intercom app. So if we go over there and look, um, you've got various tabs at the bottom, uh, the actual intercom, channel, contact, message, and device. Let's start at the device tab. Over here under settings is where you input your DMR ID. Um, unfortunately, the maximum limit send time, which is like a transmission timeout timer, is 60 seconds. It's only 30 or 60 seconds be nicer if it was longer. Um, these tones, push the, talk, push the talk start and end, I'm not really a fan of, so I don't use them. It will record your QSOs. I have that disabled right now, but it records them all if you want. Um, busy no sending, I, I'm guessing, is the equivalent of, uh, of uh, you know, the access if it's going to transmit with uh, time slot free or color code free or something. I just have it set to transmit permit always right now because I'm using it with hotspots. And I don't know what temperature detection is. I assume that's if the phone gets too hot, it stops transmitting. Um, under information, it just gives you the information about the software. It's unclear who makes and updates this software. There's also some discussion in the Facebook group about that. And people are hoping that they'll uh, take some suggestions. Um, device area. These are zones. It took me a while to figure this out. So you, it comes preloaded with a bunch of zones, like USA, FRS, Australia, FRS. There were a bunch of others that I deleted. Um, and then you can add your own zones. And so I've added in zones for hotspots, Rocky Mountain Ham DMR, home analog, our local incident management team, and home DMR. And once you um, create a zone, then you, or to switch a zone, you have to go to this screen. So if I wanted to, I have to click use, and now that zone is active. And then you go back to the channel screen or to the intercom main screen to select the channel. So to switch, you have to come into this area, click in the device area, click that and click use. Again, that's a little bit clunky, um, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, factory reset use assistant is a little set of directions on how to add contacts and channels. And then exit app. Well, let's talk about contacts. So there's no direct talk group entry. So you have to go to the contact tab and either add private calls, those are persons, or group calls. But it's really easy to add one. Uh, you just click plus and then type the name and type the number and it's added in. So it's because it's touchscreen and it's just on your phone, it's it's really simple to program. I mean, it's a drag that, you know, it's so commercially oriented and not ham friendly, but then again, it's pretty easy to add uh, group and private calls. This is where you edit the channels within a zone. So I'm in my hotspot zone right now, and these are the channels that I have created. And so if you click on one, you have to click Edit. You'll see this is the parameters for adding a channel. The name, uh, send and receive frequency, power, just low or high, color code, time slot, contact type, group or person, and then choose the contact from your list. It already has to be entered, and then encryption. Group list, I'm assuming this is a receive list. I'm guessing that's what it is because the the contact that you've selected is automatically populated here, but presumably you could add other groups here in the receive list so that if they're static on that um, time slot, you could receive them as well if you want. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I haven't played with it though. 
So you can select channels here to use or in the main intercom app. So here's the app. So I'm in the hotspot zone. I'm on the uh, channel for my duplex hotspot number one on Colorado HD. Tells you the power, transmit and receive frequencies, contact name, color code. And then you can switch channels just by clicking on that, touching on to scroll through one, two. And then I assume you can push the talk. Yeah, you can push the talk there. I've got the uh, side key program, so I'll just use that. Whoops, let's see if anybody's listening. W0RMT Colorado HD. Um, if you heard me on the net with this, you know that the audio is a little hot on it compared to uh, um, uh, my Anytone or thing. So I was backed quite a ways away from the mic there. It seems like eight inches is a good distance for transmission. So not like using a speaker mic. So anyways, that's what it is. It's uh, kind of a fun little thing. It works pretty well. Battery life seems incredible. Seems really high. Um, the intercom software, eh, it's so-so, but it works pretty well, and it, it sounds pretty darn good. It certainly sounds a lot better than the R Finder phones that were the Android phones I've heard other people talk on in the past on BMR. So, um, yeah, that's uh, first impressions. I'll uh, make some more videos maybe as I get into it, but let me know if you have any questions.